So a month ago, I tried to set up my friend Rhino with his first female friend. You think you could be friends with me? You know, they ended up getting along pretty well, but he wasn't sure if he actually wanted to be friends with her. So I hit up Sabrina and she was down to fly back to LA and hang out with Ryan for a day. When I told Rhino she was coming back, he was a little apprehensive, but here's what happened. I got to be such good friends with Ryan. I'm back, back in LA, ready to do friend things with him. So, Noah invited my best friend over again. Hey, what's up? Hello. You got your bag and everything. Oh. I know. I feel so welcome here, you know, as your friend. Ooh, wow. Oh, that was good. Thanks. Do we hug or do we dab? We can do a dab hug. Hugging you feels natural. But if I dabbed you up, that would be weird. We did this before, though. Whoa, that was a good one. You know, let's, let's, okay, okay, hug. Should we, should we dab just to see what Just to make sure. And then in Toronto, we go like this. We go like this. Okay. Yeah, I definitely am doing that. But like dapping you up feels very unnatural to me. Well, you have a whole friendship's worth of time to get used to it. But hugging you is like, all right, you're my good friend. Mm -hmm. The hug, our torsos have to touch. That's like a real hug. Why? Because that's like a real hug. Because you know when someone's like, oh, good to see ya. And they do like one of these where okay, they're- Okay, but my friend, I am not- They're like this. this. Or like if someone gives me a side hug, I'm immediately offended. I'm oh, good to see you. It's like, bro, just say you don't like me. All right, well, it was nice talking to you. And at that point, it's like, don't even hug me. Really? I just don't take it that personally. So you're here. I literally just came here to see you. I missed you. So what do guy and girlfriends do? Literally just hang out. I feel like you view friendships too transactionally. So I think we should just hang out, spend some time together. Yeah, no, we can definitely, I mean, for the purposes of the video, especially, I think I'm open. I'm open to new things. We can try hanging out. But the problem is if you start to be too cool, then it's like my monkey brain might be like, oh, she's super Super dope and then like attraction starts to build you have to sort of be not that cool do you see me as a potential romantic interest well here's the thing you're not ugly is the problem if you were hideous i'd be like yeah whatever but then would you even be friends with me no exactly because you'd be hideous typically men are not friends with girls they do not find attractive that's a fact but girls will be friends with ugly guys. That's a fact. So you sort of need to be on your ugliest behavior. Oh, I'm down. Do you want me to like walk on all fours right now? See now, even you being on all fours might- Oh my God, it wasn't like that! I'm saying the way the oh. reptile brain works. I can't help myself. The other day I saw a woman eating, she was eating a burger and I was like, ah, that shit kind of doing something for me. I think you just have like uber monkey brain. I and do. My favorite animal is an orangutan. You also are built like one. Okay. Yeah. Valid. I'm willing to hang out. I'm willing to hang out. But what do we talk about? What do you mean talk about? We just hang out and enjoy each other's company and your personality. Like you and I are both yappers, so we can just talk about whatever. We can just yap. Yeah, literally. If I see a beautiful woman, immediately ain't no friend vibe. Like I'm on some beautiful woman, and then immediately I'm like picturing us married. Oh. Or any other number of things. And that's I think how most men sort of they view a cute girl and they don't think, damn, she seems down to earth as hell. They're thinking, what's up with that? Okay, yeah, I can agree with that. To all the viewers watching, if the viewers have happily married parents, how often does their mom, how often does y'all's mom hang out with her guy friends one on one? Never, because that's weird. And it's like, well, she's married. Well, that shouldn't make a difference. Men and women can be friends at all ages and I all agree. stages. I think I think it just depends on like their priorities as like a parent. My parents had a lot of friends when they were in their early 20s, 30s. But then as you know, having more kids and like growing apart from them, everyone has their own lives. Like it just, it's just different. We'll see. So what is our activity for today? Well, like, what do guy, like, what, what do they do? What do guy friend girls? What, what should we do? We can just like talk, hang out at a park. We'll go to a park. What I'm not saying is that we can't be friendly or anything like that. You have to consider me a friend in Ryan's terms. Yeah, in my terms, exactly. Mm. So recently, Noah and I were reacting to a video where they were talking about girl friendships don't last as long when it's two girls or a girl group. There'll be drama, they'll break up. Whereas guys' friendships last a lifetime. Mm. They hardly ever break up. Would you agree with that statement? Have you seen that phenomenon? Honestly. Okay, I would agree in general. Cool. Yes, generally. Yes. That does happen a lot. That is the loophole of our conversation. Why do you think that is? Why do male friendships last forever and female friendships, they have a new friend group every birthday? I saw the same topic being discussed and some girl said, oh, it's because men's friendships are superficial. And while I don't think that's inherently true, I do think that can be the case in terms of, you know, guys just getting together, grab a beer, watch the game. That's like your commonality. You're not very emotionally vulnerable with each other. You're not very emotionally intimate with each other. So it's very easy to keep kind of the surface level out. yeah the surface level interaction there's yep. no like hey bro how's your mental health doing how are how's, you and your girl yeah, how, yeah no one does that and then i've also heard a lot of girls saying i don't like being friends with
with girls, there are too much drama. I'll meet girls that will have a bunch of guy friends and I'm like, I don't doubt that guys make great friends. So what's crazy is I always get shamed into, you can't be friends with a girl. I'm like, not even girls want to be friends with other girls. That's a bar. I think it just depends on the people you associate with. Cause for me, my girl friendships have lasted like a fat minute. Mm. It just depends on your crowd and the kind of person you are and your values as a person. So, so the reason why guy friendships, maybe even if a dude isn't that cool, you just stick with them because it's like, it's not that big of a deal. Cause you don't get into it. You don't deal with their personal lives. You just bond over that surface level situation. But with girl friendships, you get very into each other's lives. Yeah. And so I think that's why they can be very passionate and very fiery friendships. Men are interested in things. Women are interested in people. And I'd almost argue keeping a level of distance, distance or... almost makes things work better. The closeness is actually what destroys the friendships. Whereas having a barrier and a distance. You're right, actually. Mm -hmm. My longest standing girl friendships or even like guy friendships, they're all at a distance. Yep. And I find that's what happens even, um, or that that's how you make those friendships last. But when if you're I, super close with when someone. When you're super close all the time, all the time, all the time, it's easy to get fed up with them. Hence the reason why I think relationships, you know, run into those problems. Yeah, relationships. You're gonna beef with your girlfriend way more than you're gonna beef with your friend mm -hmm. because of the, yeah, this is the distance. So for example, I've had guys that I knew, they said one thing to me or mm -hmm. did one thing and I was like, oh, you're cooked. I'm not talking to you ever again. And that's it. Whereas girls, their best friend will betray them or talk shit about them mm -hmm. and then like will continue to hang out with one another. I've found that the way men behave, there's more ethics and there's more of a code of ethics and a sort of more respect for one another. I would also argue that women are survival creatures and they want to be liked by the whole tribe. So by continuing and maintaining these friendships, even if there's beef underneath the surface. They like, get their hit of like validation. They get the hit of acceptance. Okay, we're still good. They want to maintain safety and they want to maintain the tribe liking them. And I think that's a lesson that a lot of girls need to learn. You don't have to stay friends with people that stay hurting you. It serves you no purpose. Just prioritize your well-being because if you're with these people and they're causing drama, even though you think it's okay and you deal with it, it takes a toll on you mentally and you don't even realize because you're so used to being put down. I think that most girls have one best friend, actual ride or die that's solid. They'll have one quarter and 50 pennies. And I think it's better to have four quarters as opposed to 100 pennies. Whoa. I definitely think as you grow older, you... Your friend group shrinks. It shrinks. And then you just are a bit more particular. Even now, like from my high school days to university, mm -hmm. I really just have no business being around people I don't like all that much. Just to okay. smile and put on this small talk facade. Like why? It's a fact. I'm tired. Let me go home. Well, to the park. Hello. How many think I could take? Shit. There's about 30 of them. I feel like you could take five of them. I think if there was more than five, they might overpower you. If they all started pecking me at once, what would I do? Well, they're not scared of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like if one of these was coming at you full speed, you're cut your toast. I'm like Loki the same color. I think they think I'm one of them. Watch, I'm gonna blend in. They're not even gonna be able to tell. Is it working? I don't know, I think you're scaring them. They're bold. How do they tell which one's a boy and which one's a girl? Cause I could tell, you know, humans and shit. I have never seen, what are these? Whoa, what? I've never seen a duck thing that looks like that. And their feet are green and look like leaves. We made it to the swan thing. I'm so excited. Hello, okay. sir. What's up guys, you have a reservation? We do not have a reservation. You got an ID on you? I got a military ID. I probably what? can't show it to the camera, yeah. You're talking to a future army soldier. It says you got this at Chuck E. Cheese. Though. <laughs> Bet. You paying for it? Yeah, I got you. All right, well, these are for you guys. Thank you. Of course. Are you guys, uh, you love live, sir. That's it, that's me. Oh, for real? Oh, shit, what's up, bro? Okay, Mr. Famous. I have a question for you. Do you think men and women can be just friends? No. Uh, and no. why do you think that? I think at some point, as if you guys spend enough time together, you guys will eventually, like, a conversation will happen whether you guys like each other like that or not, and from there it'll go on. Smart guy. So you don't have any female friends currently? Currently, no. You, he said it. Here? Yeah. So, um, lovely weather we're having. Yeah, it's a little chilly. Could I uh, borrow your jacket? Um, if I were to give you my jacket, that's a body for you. Is it? If you take another man's jacket, that's a body. Um, I think it depends. If a girl hugs a guy and rocks back and forth, 
That's a body. Am I right or am I right? I don't know why we picked the swan at sundown as a friend activity. It is a friend activity because we are friends and there is no romantic interest. Nah, but you see the way the light is hitting your eyes, the little glow. Just saying. I'd actually rather be doing most things with women. With a woman, like woman girlfriend, like. Was that, was that romantic? Thank you. I enjoy doing most activities with women. I'd prefer to do it with a girl than with a guy. But is that in a romantic context? Like when you do this stuff? Usually there's an undertone of like, damn, this bitch is bad. And she okay. smells good and we're at the mall together. Oh, you want Auntie Anne's pretzel? Oh yeah. And then I feed her the pretzel. I think you've just been chronically single. I've been chronically straight. My testosterone never shuts off. What are you doing with that? Don't worry about it. So, if we go down, who's taking the lead? I think I would just give up and drown. Okay. It's okay, you don't have to worry about me. I'm thinking if we start taking on water, I immediately go into Navy SEAL mode. Okay. Holy shit. Oh my God, that scared me. I wasn't scared, that was a test. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you're out in public with your, let's call it a significant other, walking, you're at the mall, are you looking around, like what are you thinking about? Do you think about, that's a creepy guy, there's an exit, are you thinking of a getaway plan? Or are you just like, la 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 la, I'm gonna go to Bath and Body works i'm not like thinking of like getaway or like exits i'm just thinking about what i need to do as a guy when you're walking somewhere with a girl my head on a swivel your head's on a swivel you're like <laughs> All right, that's a creepy ass dude. This guy's been behind me for like one minute. How do I get out of here if I need to get out of here? It's just what we do. I take on that role when I'm with my friends. If it's a group and there's like a lot of girls, I'll be like on the lookout because I'm usually the sober one. Mm. But if I was like with a boyfriend, yeah, I can see myself just like turning my brain off, going on easy mode. We got Ryan and Noah, my two male friends pedaling for me in the back. Benefits of a female friend. When the hard work starts to happen, we're not gonna let you go down that easy here. Aww. No guys, to be honest, Sabrina got tired. So I literally had to take her. Spot. I was not tired. It's supposed to be Ryan and her doing this. One of my drawbacks or a flaw of mine, I'm like too chivalrous. Mm. If there's a lady there, I'm behaving differently. I'm not treating you as an equal necessarily. I'm treating you as a, a little lady. God forbid we started going down or something. I wouldn't make you get us, pedal us out of here or mm. something. Or I don't know, Sabrina, you come up with the fucking thing. I would just take the role. That's why it makes it harder for me to differentiate because that's what you would do for a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So at this point, so are we friends or are like... Yeah, I mean, okay, I, I've been friends with you. I've, I've considered you a friend. I feel like I'm a good ass friend. I agree. And I know that you, you've identified that I am a good friend to girls. Yeah. But I, would you consider me your friend? You know what? For the sake of openness, I will consider you my friend. <laughs> oh, we just, I went for the handshake, oh. you went for the... I will consider you a friend. Okay. However, I think there are parameters. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, even look at how we're interacting right now. I'm not touching you. My body language is like awaiting. If a girl was sitting like this with me, I'd be like, yeah, we can just head home. She ain't with me as long as you don't smell good around me so like you need to smell like a bottle of dasani water if you're hanging around me don't get all done up or nothing so this could work i'm okay. not feeling anything so i'm cool okay cool are we going to are we Here's what I hate about the patriarchy. We never let women show what they can do and let them do the hard work and stuff. Ladies need to step up, start mowing the lawn. Hear me out, let's say, cause we're friends, if you had a lawn and you said, hey, Sab, can you come over? Or I need help doing this, can you like help me out? I would come over and help. Mm. Right? I think the proof's in the pudding. The cooler you are, if you're personable, great conversationalist, witty, all these other great I mean, attributes, shuck. the more great attributes you have, mm -hmm. the more it's like, well, why wouldn't I just date her then? I understand. You know what I'm saying? I think I said this in the last video, but sometimes people confuse just good platonic relationships with a crush. And I'd be having crushes. Yeah, I'd be having crushes too, but at a base level, I think a crush is formulated on not knowing who someone is. You're coming with all coming up with all these fantasies. Like rose-colored lenses. Yeah, you're making them out to be someone in your head that fulfills your fantasy. Yeah, when I got a lot of those. Yeah, that's fine. But as long as you get to know the person and then you end up like realizing, oh shit, you're cool. We can be friends, mm -hmm. whatever. Cause you're witty, you're smart. I feel like you're very well spoken, you're articulate, you're tall, you're pretty good looking. Those are traits that I would want in a significant other. Keep going, thank you, keep going. And <laughs> more traits, please. And you can just be honest with your friends like that and gas them up. Obviously not all the time because then that's a little weird. Then it gets to the bl blurry Cause then it's line. Like, why, then, Cause then it's like, why would you not date them? Right? Mm -hmm. But I think gassing up your friends appropriately is good. Just for the friendship. Yeah. Why wouldn't you be nice? to your friends. You would, you would gas them up, you would boost them up. For real, but sometimes if I look too good, or not look too good, but like if I'm looking good and, and I just like look- Like I've seen some of your reels on TikTok. Mm-hmm. 
There is one I was looking at. I mean, not recent. I wasn't looking at it. So, for example, here's a reel. Okay. Like, bro, I cannot be seeing that. Yeah, sometimes my friends are like, they don't interact with that content. They just swipe past it. I liked it. So, yeah, there's just like this one. Okay. Just don't be doing any of this. Well, that's obviously for attention. It's social media. Yeah, but it's like, if I see that, it's like, I can't look like, I can't look away. But I also would not be wearing that around you. You feel me? True. It's just, I have such a appreciation for female beauty. If I see that. it, I'm gonna point it out. I'm old fashioned enough. My body and how I look and how I present myself is subject to anyone's perception. Mm -hmm. Whether they're my friend, a stranger, a creep, or anyone. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're friends. We're friends. Yay! Yay! Oh, that's a body. If my, if I had a boyfriend and a girl hugs him, hands around the neck, that's it. I'm, ugh. With a rock back and forth thing. Shit. <laughs>